The last step in setting up our G Suite account is Setup Billing. So let's click on Setup Billing button and finalize our setup. When setting up billing, G Suite will ask one more time which package would we like to use, G Suite Basic or G Suite Business. If you scroll the page a little bit down, you will see the difference between the two packages. G Suite Business account offers everything that Basic account offers, but much more. It is not mentioned here on this page, but with a Business G Suite account, you also get to use G Drive file stream service. And um, this allows you to stream and work offline with selected files rather than downloading all the files to your computer. With G Suite Business account, you also get to use Team Drives. Unlike files in your personal G Drive, files in Team Drive belong to the team instead of uh, an individual. And even if members leave, the files stay exactly where they are. So your team can continue to share information and work on these files, which is a very useful feature for your business. So select which package you want to set up billing for and click on select button under the G Suite Basic if your choice is G Suite Basic or click on select button under G Suite Business if your choice is G Suite Business. I have selected G Suite Basic. So here on this page, we need to select country, currency and provide promo code, which will apply the discount. And to get 20% discount of your first year of using G Suite, please message me and I'll reply to you with a 20% discount promo code. Once you have a discount promo code from me, click on the promo code link. Clicking on the promo code link will reveal a text input field where you will need to type in the promo code. Once you have provided the promo code, click on continue button. On this page, we need to review our selection and G Suite agreement. And if everything is OK, then we need to check the I have read and agreed to the terms of the G Suite agreement checkbox. And once you have done that, click on continue button. Fill in your name and address details. And if you scroll down the page a little bit, you will see a form to fill in the payment details. Provide your payment card details. And if credit or debit card address is same as above, then check the checkbox to which an arrow on my screen is pointing to. Then click on continue button. And this is it. You are now subscribed to G Suite. This page also lets you know when and how often you will be charged. So click on continue button to continue to the next page. On this page, G Suite offers you to install some of the recommended apps. You may do so if you're familiar with these apps, but I would do it later when I get familiar with G Suite a little bit more. So to skip this page, click on Skip button. And we're now back to Google Admin Console. Account setup is now complete and we can close the setup panel. If you need to access billing details again, then there are a couple of ways to do it. One way is to click on the billing button which is located right here on this console page. Or you can click on the icon in the left top corner of this page to open up the left side navigation menu. When the panel opens, click on the billing option. If you want to preview your subscription details, you can simply click on subscription panel to unfold it. You can preview when your paid service starts and other details of your account, like the payment plan, number of users on your team, cost per user, and the amount of your monthly bill. Let's click on the Actions button. This menu option allows you to open additional billing details and learn how to cancel your G Suite subscription, for example. Let's click on Access Billing Account option. On this page, you can preview your balance and pay early if you wish, you can view your payment transactions or you can manage payment methods and provide a different payment card, for example. If we go back and click on Cancel Subscription option, we will learn how to cancel our G Suite subscription and what will happen if we do so. If we click on the Continue button and then cancel our subscription, then access to all our cloud applications in G Suite will be revoked. I will click on Continue button to see what happens. And here's a final confirmation message dialog. 
to make sure that we are indeed intended to delete our account. If we do so, then all of our data will be permanently deleted, and this process cannot be undone. If you choose to delete your subscription, please make sure you have downloaded your files from Google Drive to your computer.